Oh, this one's going to get me into trouble, isn't it? Well, look, everyone, there's a lot of discussion going around the Twitter sphere or social media or the X sphere, whatever you want to call it, about James Gunn. Uh, and is he fit to run DC? And is he fit to be a director? And is he fit to do this? And should he be doing that? And this discourse, this you know, toxic behavior towards James Gunn has gotten a bit out of hand. And I need to tell you, he is not our enemy. He is not somebody that we should be sitting there calling out. Uh, I, I know that not many people are going to probably watch this or even care to watch this. They're going to see it and just blow it off. But this is the truth. You know, you take a look at DC since 2013 until now, and there has not been a time in the DC universe, in the DC franchise, in the DCEU, that we've had such a solid, positive outlook for the franchise for the universe i get it we all wanted to see what Zack snyder was going to do and when he announced that he was coming on to direct batman vs superman and then it was announced that he would be doing justice league 2 and 3 it, you know there's a lot of people who were excited about that but even at that point in time there was so much backstabbing and so much you know behind the scenes bullcrap that was going on that even at the time, there was not a clear vision for what DC was going to be. This is the first time that we have somebody that's fully in charge of DC and wanting to create a DC universe that could be enjoyed by all. Not just one section of the fandom. Not just the Snyderverse. Not just the, the anti-Snyders. Not just the gun people. Everybody. He is going to try and make a DC universe that is exciting and inviting for all. Which is huge, because again, we have never had that. But why am I sitting here saying that he's not our enemy? Why am I coming to you and saying, look, we need to chill. We need to chill with all this toxic hate. We got, we got to stop spewing all of this nonsense towards James Gunn, towards DC Studios. Why am I saying that? Because there's never been a time, never, where throwing temper tantrums gets you what you want in a positive manner. The more you throw hate and shade at DC Studios, the less likely it is that we're ever going to see anything from the Snyderverse. The less likely we're ever going to get a DC Universe that is enjoyable and fun. And that, that is something that people just don't seem to understand. Let's just say all you're yelling and screaming does do what you want and say James Gunn gets fired. Where does that leave us? That doesn't give us the Snyderverse. It, n most likely that's going to give us nothing. Zero, zip, nada. Let's say James Gunn stays on and all your spewing of yelling, screaming, and hatred just continues and continues and continues, but you know he just puts out Superman Legacy and it's a hit. Puts out Batman Brave and the Bolt, it's a hit. Well, guess what? Because you're acting like little children, you're not going to get what you want. You're not going to get the Snyderverse. Now, am I sitting here saying that you have to love what James Gunn is doing and who he is? No, I'm not saying that, not even a little bit. But you can sit back. You can be respectful. You can be decent. You can be good human beings that we were all taught to be growing up. And instead of acting like a three-year-old, throwing a temper tantrum when a movie comes out that isn't connected to the Snyderverse or is not what you want, you can sit back and say, you know what? It's not for me. I hope you all enjoy it. Why would you do that? Well, because you didn't get that through the years with Snyder. You had the people coming at you saying that you were wrong, saying that the Snyderverse was terrible, saying that Zack's take on Superman was wrong. And you had to sit through that. You, in turn, doing the same thing back to all those fans is not going to do anything constructive. It's, you know, it's one of those things where 
we fought as a fan base to get the Snyder cut out. We fought saying that we were better than those who were mean to to the fandom. We fought and said that you know we we want artistic integrity. We want the artists to be number one when it comes to what they're making. Yet here we sit. And we're doing all the things that the people between 2013 and 2020 did to the Snyder fandom. And that's why I want you to understand that James Gunn, he, he's not hes not our enemy. He's never talked bad about the Snyderverse. He's never sat there. Well, I don't know. I can't say he's never talked about bad about the Snyderverse. He may have, but publicly, um, and especially since he's be- taken over as the head of D.C., He's been respectful, and he understands. Oh, but, but James Gunn's lying. He's a big, bad, logical liar. Look, guys, no. Who cares? You need to get away from that whole idea. He's giving out as much information as he can. Sometimes that information changes. Who cares? Who cares? What does it matter? You think he's the first producer, the first studio head to ever you know, lie or say one thing and something else happens later. No, it happens all the time. It happened with Kevin Foggy. It's happened with Zack Snyder. It's happened with Christopher Nolan. It's happened with everyone in the industry. But the fact that you just simply constantly call this man out, well, it's pretty toxic and and pretty disgusting. Again, I've never sat there and said that you have to like him or you have to be excited for what he's making but when all said and done you really don't need to act the way you are acting you can sit back and allow those who want to enjoy these things coming out to enjoy them you don't have to add your two cents and tell them why the movie sucks or why it's going to suck it's it's not going to do anything look you may agree, you may not agree, you may sit there and say, I'm a hypocrite, oh, you don't need to add your two cents, look. I've said, from the very beginning, whenever I started calling out those who are hypocritical and acting worse, as bad or worse, than those who called out the Snyder fandom and Zack Snyder, when I started calling them out, I mean, I figured that I'd get pushed back. I figured people would be upset with me about it. Oh, you're a fake fan, this and that. But you don't get it. Because what I'm doing is showing you how you're wrong. And if you, if you truly believed that you weren't wrong and what you were saying and what you were doing... Well, maybe there wouldn't be an issue, but you constantly come back at me and push back and twist words, my words, James Gunn's words, other people's words. This isn't about protecting a studio. This isn't about protecting James Gunn. This is about protecting you as a fandom. It's about showing decency and respect. Oh, respect's earned. Well, you know what? That goes both ways. Don't forget that. Just because somebody hasn't earned your respect doesn't mean you disrespect them. Just ignore them. Walk away. I don't know. I'll be shocked if this video gets many views, but uh, leave comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Um, Yeah, hit that like button, hit subscribe. With all that said, I'll talk to all of you later.